One day my friends and me were at a sleepover and we were joking around and googling our names. And they all kind of thought my dad was hot. So we googled his name and at first nothing came up but then we saw a link to a page on the hub. And when I clicked on it I saw a bunch of videos of my dad from like recently and as far back as 3 years ago and he was verified. I was so scared and didn't know what to do so I deleted the tab and cleared my history and now it's so weird because I don't know if my mom knows and I can't think of him the same anymore. One day I was in school and I decided to eat some of my special gummies. So I was sitting in math class and the room felt like it was spinning and I literally couldn't concentrate. And at that point my friend noticed my eyes were red and I was like oh shit I'm gonna get caught. So my teacher asked if I was okay and told me to go to the nurse. And the whole time I just said that I had allergies and tried so hard to play it off cool. Then she asked if I was high and I started crying and told her yes and then she said she wouldn't tell anyone and let me sleep in the back of the office for the rest of the day. One day I decided to wear a dress to school commando. So I was walking around all day in this white dress thinking I was cute. Then I felt what I thought was thick water running down my leg. So I ran to the bathroom and saw a red stain on the back of my dress and realized I got my period. Also I saw that the dress was slightly see-through so the whole school could basically see my ass and cooch the whole day. I started crying and was so embarrassed that when I came back I completely forgot about the blood on the chair and the teacher asked if I had to go to the nurse and I said yes and walked out in my see-through blood-stained dress in front of the whole class. So my dad is a cop and when I was five I was bored at night so I went into my parents' room and I was playing with his stuff. And I found a taser. I didn't know what it was so I decided to try it out. I aimed it at my dad and tased him. He woke up screaming and my mom saw me holding the taser at my dad and freaked out. So she took me back to my room and I got grounded for like a month. This one time my brother and I were boxing each other. At the time I was 4 years old and he was 9 years old. While we were fighting he grabbed me and pushed me into the corner where the door was. He decided to push my head into the door hinges. I started crying and I couldn't do anything about it since he was a lot bigger and stronger than me. So the only thing I could do was bite him. I bit his nipple off and there was blood everywhere lol. He's now known as the solo nipple cripple. So I was in 5th grade and there was this girl in my class and she was so weird. I always kept my distance and she wouldn't really talk to me. So one day it smelled really bad in class and it was gross. So I told the teacher. Then when the classes changed there was that smell again in the hallways. So they checked everyone's locker and when they got to the weird girl's locker, they opened it up and there was a Tupperware container with dried pieces of shit in it. I found out later that that was what she had been nibbling on all class. So she got called down to the principal's office and got suspended. And she got sent to a mental hospital and we haven't seen her in three years. One time I was on the bus and I was sitting next to this new kid and we were in like 8th grade. So he was kinda cute but I didn't really like him. Anyway so we hit a bump and his pee pee literally popped out of one of his pant legs of his shorts and he just stared at me. I was really confused and the he told me to touch it. So I did and as I was holding it he started to pee and I was like what the fuck. So I changed seats and it was so awkward because he lived like two doors down from me. So I was in a RTC basically a mental hospital. There were these two 11 year old girls and they were the most annoying things ever. So one day one of the girls comes in and said she was dating this other 11 year old girl there. Turns out they fingered each other when we were outside and it was gross ASF because they're like 8 year olds. So later that day we see this huge ass stain on one of the girls pants. It was a blood stain. We asked the girl about it apparently the other girl shoved a marker up her cat and popped her cherry with it. We didn't believe her at first till we saw the marker covered in blood on the table. The other girl lied but then admitted to it. So for the rest of their stay they were called the marker molesters it was really bad lameo. Okay so one time I was in my bedroom and my girlfriend was in the shower. So I decided I was gonna leave a cute picture of me in her camera roll. Then I saw she got a text from this guy called B and I was so confused. 
Turns out she had been cheating on me for four months with this other guy. So I decided to get her back. I put Nair in her conditioner the night I was planning to kick her out. So she went into the shower and then I heard screaming. She walked out half bald and then I told her that she had to leave because I knew she cheated. LOL it was the funniest thing ever. He stood there for a good two minutes and then walked back upstairs. My sister and me were so freaked out and she started to cry. So after about five minutes we heard banging on the door and the police opened it up we heard them and came out of the closet and they took us outside of the house. Then we saw them dragging the man in handcuffs but then we saw them drag out another man as well. We were so confused. Later they checked the attic and we found out that they had been living in our house for months and would come downstairs and eat food from the fridge. They had a bunch of stuff and one of them had a knife upstairs. It was literally the most scary thing ever and we found out later that they were planning to kill us that night. They got taken to jail and when my parents got home they told them and we ended up moving a month later. Okay so I went inside to investigate and at first I didn't see anything. Then I heard footsteps so I walked upstairs with my sister behind me and when I turned the corner I saw a man in really dirty clothes and long hair sitting on my bed eating food. So I freaked the hell out and my sister and me ran downstairs as quietly as possible. I went around the corner and grabbed the phone and dialed 911. So we decided to hide in the closet until they got there. We were in the closet when we heard him walking down the stairs. We got so scared and then we heard breathing coming from outside of the closet door and I could see his feet standing right outside the door. Like for part 3. Okay so one time I was outside with my sister and we were playing soccer in the front yard. It was getting really hot outside and I was starting to get some sunburn so we decided to go inside to get some water bottles from the garage. We went into the fridge and opened it and got water and started to drink it. Then we heard a scream come from inside. We were home alone and both of our parents were not home so we were super scared. So I walked inside to check what the noise was. Like for part 2. When I was in 12th grade I had a teacher and he was so hot. He was my math teacher and this was his first year teaching. Now my classes switch halfway through so I had him in the second semester. And by that time I was 18. So anyways he was like 22. And I got balsy so I started to make really scandalous comments to him. Anyway so one day I stayed after school and it was a study session and things escalated and let's just say we did the deed in his classroom. I had good grades the whole year but one time one of my teachers accidentally walked in on us doing it. But we blackmailed her because we knew she was secretly cheating on her husband W the librarian. Anyway so I graduated and then we started actually dating and now we've been together for four years. When I was in 8th grade there was this old ass substitute teacher and he was so mean. He definitely farts dust and was built like Slender Man and his arms practically dragged on the floor and whenever he talked he sounded like Spongebob in Sandy's house and he sounded like he was going to have a heart attack any second and this bitch uses a bell to silence class like TF we aren't cows. Anyway so one day I came into class and sat down and his salamander looking ass waddled on over to my desk and said with his clammy Ebenezer Scrooge looking mouth and tells me to cover up. And I was like what? And he said that he was going to have to send me to the principals and dress code me even though I was wearing a literal tank top. Then he wraps his ice cold grim reaper ass shriveled up hand and tells me to go to the office and then he walked back to his desk and missed his chair and fell on the ground and everyone started laughing and then I had to go to the office. So one time I was at camp and a few people were doing cartwheels. I suck at cartwheels, but I did one. I forgot to tuck in my shirt and it was a day I didn't wear a bra. Three boys were watching me and my shirt completely revealed my tits. I don't have that much, but it was really embarrassing LMAO, but no counselor saw which was good. One time my friend and me were in Victoria's Secret and we tried to steal a really expensive perfume and a bunch of bras, but on our way out, the buzzer went off. So we got taken down to the police station and we were in a conference room with a police officer who was in his late 20s. So my friend tried to seduce him and she said if he let us go she would give him head. So she did and after like 10 minutes they were done and he let us go out of the back lol. And we still got to keep some of the bras we hid really well in our coats. One time I was in school and this kid hated our teacher. Well we all kinda did. So we all came up with a plan. The teacher left to use the bathroom and the kid decided to pee in her coffee. So he whipped out his dong in front of the whole class and started to pee in her coffee. A lot of people started recording this lol. Then when she came back she finished the coffee and everyone started laughing. Later that week the video got leaked and then kid got expelled lol. One time my sister and me and the rest of my family were on a road trip and we decided to stop at a lake for the day. There weren't a lot of people around and it was a huge lake. So she decided to jump in and when she jumped in she didn't come back up right away. So I got scared and when I looked under the dock there was a man holding my sister under. 
So I screamed and my dad came running towards us. And when the man saw my daddy started swimming away. So we went to the police station near the lake and they did a search and found his body the next day washed up on the shore with symbol carved in his stomach. So they suspect he might have been trying to use my sister as some sacrifice for a cult ritual or something. When I was in 7th grade there was this new girl at my school who decided she wanted to be friends with me even though I got really bad vibes from her. She followed me around and decided she liked one of my guy friends even though I told her it was a bad idea. After like literally 3 days he wanted to break up with her because she was literally insane. But he couldn't because she blackmailed him by saying that if he broke up with her she would tell everyone he was gay. She blackmailed him into kissing her in my freaking bedroom and then she broke up with him. That was the last girl he dated before he came out and apparently she was hecking 40 year old married men the entire 7th grade year. She also stole her mom's birth control and $1,000 out of a safe. She went missing in New Jersey for 3 days and I haven't seen her in years idk she might be dead lol. So when I was in 7th grade my best friend and me convinced each other that we were witches and that our skin was going to melt and the only way that we could save each other was to pee on our arms. So we were in the basement and I pulled down my pants and started to pee down her arms. Then I heard a noise on the stairs so we turned around and I saw my older sister recording us. So I freaked out and chased her upstairs. But she made it to her room and posted it on her snapchat. And then the video spread around the school and we became known as the pee girls. So I had to transfer schools and now I don't talk to that girl anymore and I go to a private Catholic school. So one time when I was like 8 I wanted to know what happened if I didn't poop in the toilet. So I decided to poop in this happy meal box and I hid it in my closet. I forgot about it but there were flies in my room and my parents noticed the smell. So they checked my room and when they opened my closet they found the happy meal box and saw a crusty 3 day old turd. Then I got grounded for a while lol. One time I was at my friend Shannon's house and it had always been her dream to be a bus driver. So we decided to go and steal a bus and drive it around. So we hopped in her car and drove to the nearest bus parking lot. She broke open the door and as soon as we stepped into the bus we saw a man in a bus driver uniform and Shannon's brother. Turns out they had been doing the deed for months. He was arrested and Shannon later moved away. I miss her dearly. In the seventh grade a kid in my class was selling Reese's peanut butter cups. He sold them to like half of the school because who doesn't love Reese's? At the end of the day the dean and a security guard visited my class and randomly started searching everyone's bag. Eventually they got up to the kid that was selling the Reese's Cups to like everyone. The kid was suspended for like a month and that's when we found out that there was weed in the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. One time when I was 14 I went on this camping trip with my grade. Me and my friends decided to sneak out of our cabin and go to the boys' cabin to hang out. Once we got there my friend went to the bathroom with her crush and they were in there for a really long time so me and my friend decided to go check on them and once we got there we walked in and heard noises coming from a stall. We opened the door and they were doing the nasty. It was so weird and hilarious and now we always make fun of her for it. So one time I had this friend in school and he was a jackass and we had a substitute teacher. He bet me $5 if I put thumbtacks in her coffee you know the old fashioned substitute prank so I did it and then the sub walked in and drank her coffee and we all hated that bitch. After she drank it her throat was bleeding like hell she went to the emergency room and they gave that bitch a prosthetic throat and she died two months later thank god and we had a normal school again. So one time I had a sleepover with my cousin when we were like really little like 6 and 7 years old. She told me she had a huge crush on this boy and asked me for some advice to impress him. And of course like the cool big cousin I was I agreed to give her some advice. Step 1 was getting rid of bad breath so I told her to get some mouthwash to freshen up her breath and practice for the next time she sees him. 
We went into her bathroom and she got like a whole cup of mouthwash and tried to swish it in her mouth and before I could say, wait, that's too much, she started choking on the mouthwash and snorted it throughout her nose and it literally came out of her nose. It sounds really bad but it was hilarious at the time because we were both trying to get the mouthwash out of her throat and nose while laughing so hard that we both of our faces were bright red. In the 6th grade I had a science teacher and everyone hated her but she basically had a turtle as a class pet and also had some fish in another tank. Then one day she told us one of the fish had gotten sucked into the water filter and died. All of us were shook and thought she was joking. After class everyone went over there and the dead fish was sitting in the filter. It was basically decapitated. It also turns out she hooked up with another teacher while still married and also tried to sell drugs to one kid. Then one time her stupid effing turtle bit me and I also burnt my hand in her class and the dumb bitch didn't give a shiitake mushroom so yeah. When I was in 8th grade this boy liked me and so one day during class he whipped out his slong and started to jack off with lotion I gave him. Then he asked me to date him and we did and then after Christmas break we broke up and our teacher never knew only me and five other people know. When I was in second grade I hated everyone at my school because they were all bitches and bullies. A boy told me he liked me and I was so excited but then he said it was just a prank. I was so angry at everyone and everything, so I thought it would be a good idea to get back at them. I wrote notes to everyone in my class saying things like, You're ugly and I hope you die you nasty ass bitch and I signed it from the kid in my class who humiliated me. I put it in their backpacks. During recess I came inside and I also put toilet paper all over the girl's bathroom and put toilet water everywhere. The next day all the kids in my class came to school crying and showing the teachers their notes. There was an hour-long assembly where they talked about bullying and all that bullshit. I was smirking the whole time while everyone was crying and the boy who humiliated me got in so much trouble it was amazing. In 7th grade last year I was in the bathroom taking a massive shit I probably was in there for about 10 minutes and someone and their girlfriend went into the stall next to mine. And I heard moaning and sucking noise as it turns out it was my friend getting head right next to me. The next day she comes up to me and takes me to the bathroom and asked me if I wanted to have a three-way of course I said no but it was still crazy.